I've had a few people ask me recently why I don't post bomber gameplay. In fact, two content creators, fellow Aussies, Scottish Squaller and Spitfly, have called me the Bomber Daddy. Only due to the fact that I came from uh, playing bomber aircraft primarily and have transitioned into a fighter role as the years have progressed. War Thunder is an ever-evolving game. However, you can say that some game modes stay forever the same as they once were. And bomber gameplay is the exception here. It's something that is quite convoluted in its infancy. In itself, it is a boring labour of just repetitive mechanisms. It seems to be a combination of the way that the maps are laid out designed, plus the combination of gunners, bomber models and general flight characteristics, plus the community's ability to really abuse a mechanic and generally make a bad name for something that, well, is obviously just them trying to defend themselves against a mechanism that is also trying to defend itself against the repercussions of that. What do I mean? Well. To save people from, you know, flying off the edge of the map and for wasting a lot of people's time, they've shortened the match times. Artificially, they released a patch which allowed for only four bomber aircraft per match to be in one single mission. This drastically cut down. In fact, there are videos on my channel from a very early time where we had eight people in an eight-man squad flying over bombing bases and, doing, and, and having a great time. But alas, that was not to last. The reality is, bombers are not useful in War Thunder for several reasons. Their playstyle and their lack of sort of learning curve. Who likes to fly in a straight line and bomb a few targets? You press spacebar a few times and fly in a straight line, is that entertainment? Yet I've seen content creators like Smiggle, for example, go out and use his bombing aircraft as an offensive weapon by dropping bombs on enemies, and I think that's fantastic, but not everybody can do that in, in, in some regard. I've made countless topics and talked about this in length in other videos that I've done before. It seems like the same thing gets regurgitated every time. It is down to the game mode. It's down to the way that maps are designed. One airfield, four bombing bases, or three bombing bases, followed by a series of targets in between. So what exactly are you doing? You're just flying from one end to the map aimlessly for 10 minutes, or sometimes extending a match, going out bombing a couple of ground units. They're not important strategic targets, not like they used to be. The bomber damage models don't take nearly as enough hits. The gunners themselves are weak, sometimes overpowered, but sometimes not. You get caught on fire rather easily, you get one bullet to your R fuselage and all of a sudden all your tail controls don't necessarily work. There was a time and place where the game used to have it so that models actually mattered. But alas, that's no more, and that's because players have learnt to abuse that system, and as a result, we're left in this poor state of whether bombers are useful in War Thunder. The answer is no, they're not useful at all. They're a waste of space, for several reasons. Some in cases, they are quite cumbersome, quite slow. They take a lot of effort to fly, and you've got to be paying attention to where you want to go, or what direction you want to go. Long gone are the days where you just aimlessly fly towards an objective and fly back home, and hopefully that your airframe and your gunners would necessarily carry the damage. There was a time, an important time, back before update 1.37, before 2015, in which bomber pilots and, and, and those types of aircraft would actually sustain damage and be feared and equally feared as a Yak-3 or a fighter. But there is no denying that their use is severely limited. Even though bomber aircraft can be immense fun to play, for example, the Blenheim, the Beaufort, for example, I use them as basically fighters at this point in time, you can't necessarily give them a higher airspawn because people would abuse that. You can't necessarily give them and put them on the airfield because they'll basically be utterly useless. You can't necessarily give them any sort of advantage because then they'd be exploited to living hell. Look at what happened with the introduction of the TU-4, for example. Or do you remember the time when back a long time ago, Year 2s wrecked mayhem across air arcade battles because of their immense payload? And the reason why they haven't continued to add bomber aircraft of these kind of types is due to the fact that, well, there isn't really a need for them. You can't have your B-52s and your TU-95s, your Vulcans, for example, your Shackletons, because there is no real place for them in the current meta. It's been forced down our throats. Team Deathmatch, fighters versus attackers. And if you really want to go attack a few useless ground vehicles and things that won't actually do any damage to you, then by all means, go do that. But the, the meta is fighters, and I'd rather stick to fighters due to their usefulness, and some of them even are multi-role. So Garjan has a tricky place here. 
either they completely remove them or they just keep them in and exist as an aircraft that you have to unlock occasionally. There is no balance here. There is no damage model balance. There's no flight bot balance. There's no silver lines or economy balance. Ultimately, bombers are to their own doom. Free food for fighters.